bingo. After sailing at Wally's uh, sort of ability, um, unfort- uh, what you didn't know was that the group had run aground on Kasade Yasni one night um, on their trip back to Shellport. Uh, bingo, you were sort of up and awake and then got thrown around from your, your hammock, knocked unconscious, at which point you woke up on the beach. Um, your companion's nowhere in sight. Your eyes starting to adjust to this sort of sand and dust. Um, but standing over you, Bingo, are two figures. Um, they are small, like you are, um, with white beards and red pointed hats. Um, and they are looking down at you. So basically you are like laying in the sand and these two figures are standing above you. Oh. They look at each other. Ain't this a beach? They look at, e- at each other and then at you. You notice one of them in their hands has a strange looking collar. Uh, it's sort of carved with these intricate runes. The other one, more concerningly though, has a large club. They give each other a knowing nod, and then clunk. <laughs> Bingo, you are knocked unconscious. Oh, hey, hey fellas, you, what, could you give me a hand finding my phone? <laughs> <laughs> and bingo you find yourself waking up inside of a cage oh no um, hold on you wake yourself up in this this cage here um you're sort of like uh, kind of coming through when you see uh those two figures um the two people who knocked you out um, as well as a couple of creatures around you. There are these uh, two-headed uh, dogs on either side of you in different cages. You see a troll, um, a large lion, and then what looks like a devil. Oh, boy. Um, is he in a cage, too, or is he, like, posted up on something? He, with he's sitting up on a chair, and he's stirring this large, bubbling pot. Um, but you also see... Uh, more sinisterly, a clown. Oh, this fuck. one. As he goes, we finally got you, you little sneak. Uh, I believe that there has been a mistake, sir. <laughs> Thought you could get away from us, but not this time. And he goes uh, over to your cage as you're sort of like, uh, like kind of still waking up. Yeah. You hear him reach into the cage. You're coming with us. Uh, I need an adult. And then you see him grab a small hooded figure who was next to you. Oh, who I didn't notice. It's the old man. <laughs> and then he little? closes the cage and locks it. Wait, the old man is tiny. Oh man! Oh man! He, 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 gives, he gives you a coy look, the old man, and a wink. Um, <laughs> as he holds the old man, he suddenly pulls out from his pocket a crystal, um, touching it to the old man. The old man is teleported inside of the crystal, and he's sort of floating, like rotating inside of it. <laughs> Now that we got him, we can finally gain some respect around here. Whoo! Good work, boys. With this, Uh-oh. you're welcome. We'll be able, to, we'll be able to find the ever flame, and when we do, we'll finally get some respect from fucking pride. Oh, whoo, sorry, but we got a show to do. So before we teleport this circus and kill everybody here. We gotta go have some fun. Get the new guys ready. Um, as he takes the old man and leaves, uh, these two little gnomes start to run around 
Um, and you hear one of them get kicked. He kind of goes, ah, slides. As you hear a, a familiar voice, Bingo. Get your fucking hands off me, you loser. Oh, Gertrude. Gertrude doesn't seem to respond to you talking. Uh, as she's like, give me back my fucking crystal and that guy, I need him. Gertrude. Um, this is your father. When you're yelling out bingo, you notice something. Your hands, they're furry. More furry than what they were, mind you. <laughs> and when you look down, you have orange fur all over your body. And when you turn, looking inside of one of the water dishes in your cell, you notice... I'm a cat? You're, you're a little Sasquatch. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> That's right. Um, and you feel that collar on your neck. Your your items are gone. Um, they must have taken them when you were unconscious. And you think maybe this collar is is making you look like a little Sasquatch. This is a disaster. Do I still sound like myself when I talk? When you talk, you sound like yourself, but Gertrude doesn't seem to like register. Understand you what anything. I'm saying? Like I'm just yeah. yowling. You can make the assumption she probably thinks you're just making like rrr, rrr, noises. Oh fuck! Um, and I've got little... nothing. I've got no pants on or anything. No. This little gnome just kind of goes like. Rrr, 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 rrr and he kind of steps over and you see him really quickly move over here and pull out like a pitchfork and he just starts stabbing at this uh, troll as the troll like sort of skirt tries to get away but keeps getting poked oh no as bingo you are trapped inside of a cell All right well I'm gonna look around. What are these dogs? What's up with these dogs? These two-headed dogs. These dogs are—they're um, just sleeping right now. They don't seem to be agitated at the moment. All right. Um. I'm gonna—I'm gonna, uh, gonna bang on the cage door to try to get a, the attention of these gnomes real quick. All right, you psh, 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 bang on it. And One growl. of the gnomes, who's—who's who's pitchforking. He uh, stops what he's doing and he comes over here. I will hold my are. hands up, like so. I don't want him to pitchfork me, and I'm gonna. And, and I'm. He gonna starts thrusting a... his pitch, pitchfork in there. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get to the back of the cage and I'll hold my hands up, like non-threateningly, and I'm gonna be like, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. Mm. Can you understand me? I can. Okay, so this is this is gonna sound weird. I'm not normally a Sasquatch. You think I fucking know that, idiot? Oh, did you do this to me? Oh yeah, we need more things. You're the fucking little Sasquatch. We got a big frog. We got a big oh, lion, big troll. Oh, the big, oh yeah, I actually know that big frog. Oh well, it's a shame you're gonna have to kill her. Wait, what is this, like a Battle Royale situation? Uh, well, no, kinda. I mean, we're gonna let you go and be free. Okay. But you're gonna have to kill her. What? She's Why? caused us a lot of problems, and we want you to, like, you know, solve that accidentally. Uh, why me? I mean, she's caused me a lot of problems, too, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Because it's fucking funny, all right? But why is it more funny than a troll killing her? You got a big old troll over there. You telling me that a tiny Sasquatch killing a giant frog lady is not funny? Well, listen, yeah, I, 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 granted, listen, granted, there's a certain listen. amount of humor innate in that circumstance. I'm not going to disagree with that. Now, listen, <laughs> I know what you motherfucker. Listen here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Okay. I know people think us devils are not very funny and oh demons are much funnier, but let me tell you this. I actually thought we're, you were in home. 
you you're not very bright are you well how would i know that you're a devil when you look like a gnome it's a well, disguise I guess... you idiot oh kind of like mine yes but we d it, it's more of a curse what you have ours is more of a you know this actual disguise well I, I don't know i mean like i don't mind being a sasquatch maybe we can make a deal where i do sasquatch quests for you and then i don't have to kill that frog and maybe we let the frog go oh ooh, here let me think about it uh no <laughs> well she's causing all these problems <laughs> no I'm, I'm done talking to you <laughs> okay and he, he turns around and he starts walking away but you see something scurry between his feet what is it and what you see There he is. It's the old man. He's Is he smaller. He, he didn't see the old man. The old man's smaller now. All right, I'm going to put my hand. I'm going to put my foot like around the old man to like hide him behind me as he comes right. in my cage. He comes scurrying into your cage. Hello there. You got to help me get out of here, man. I'll I'll get I'll, I'll eat one of your apples or whatever you need. What they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Who says he, that? He, I do. Oh, and okay. He pulls out one of his poison apples, one of the apples with the skull on it. Well, I can't eat it right now. No, but it, on the wall behind you. I'm okay. Pointing to this back wall. All right. Uh, is there like a shelf or anything where I can put the apple? No, it's just smeared it on there. All right. I'm going to take the apple. And I'm going to just, like, slap my hand on the wall and just, like, smush the <laughs> apple on the wall. Like, when you smush it, it it sort of bends the wall inward in a kind of strange way. At first, you thought it was like a wooden wall, but it, it acts almost like a cloth. Um, and you hear a, a bubbling and a popping as it... <laughs> as it begins to melt some of the back wall, just enough that the wall is hidden. So like if they turn around, they wouldn't notice it, but it's flapped open enough that you feel like you can walk through it. Ooh. All right. Are these guys, do these guys look like they're like leaving or no? Uh, one of them does. This one looks like he's leaving. All right. I'm going to stand in front of that hole in the wall so that they can't get a good look at it, you know? I'm going to kind of I'm gonna wait till that one guy leaves, at least, if he's leaving. Yeah, he's going to head over here and he's going to start talking to this uh, large devil. All right, I'm going to look at the I'm going to look at the old man. Say, what do you think, old man? Should we just make make a break for it? You do what you do best. Are right, you want to come with me? How do you know yes. that I'm a bobbins when I look like a Sasquatch? Well, I have my ways. All right, you want to, you want to, if you climb, he crawls if you climb, up on your shoulder. All right, hold on to my, hold on to my Sasquatch dreads. Yes. He climbs up and he's ready to go. Oh, do you have another apple so we can get that frog? I do not. This mm. tiny version of me leaked through the cracks of the crystal. I have sent others to go have them find me. And I believe you're, they may have misinterpreted what I meant. <laughs> you you have a you're a very strange old man. But I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. He just as goes, they thank say you, thank you. <laughs> uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna slip through this wall, see what's back here. When you slip through that wall uh, the large void of empty space <laughs> opens up to you as oh, you are goodness. not in just a normal circus tent you're in a uh, basically a, a place in the uh, in the void basically a, a demi plane of sorts Oh, I was not expect. I was thinking there was going to be another room in here, old man. Oh no, we are in a 
the, the tiny tent is a is a plane to the abyss. This is uh, okay. Well, you see a spike stable? pit float by. <laughs> Fleshy eyeball infested things float through the void. Maws seemingly out of nowhere chomp and chew as there is this rickety ass walkway that seems <laughs> to have been sort of half made for you. I made this. Yeah. Pulling out all the stops, huh? Is this is this saw blade um, like active? It, it keeps sawing up and then going into the ground. Um, you also see what looks like a solid gold anchor near a chomping uh, plant. Um, what looks like a bear trap <laughs> and some mysterious holes around a bag. All right. Oh, man, I got to ask you, if you made this for me, why did you put traps in it? <laughs> well, my magics are not quite up to snuff here. Chaos can be rather unusual. Chaotic, one might say. Something of the sort. All right, I'm, ju I'm jumping this first uh, saw blade. Does it look like something that I could jump over? Yeah, if you want, you can um, either make just a flat deck save or you can um, make like an acrobatics or athletics. Uh, I'll acrobat. I'll try to do like a like a backwards handspring over the right. over this first one. Uh, not with advantage, though. So shit, I guess it's a seven. <laughs> you leap over landing on the saw blade. And when you do, it uh it cuts into you really bad because it is a saw blade. <laughs> <laughs> like I, 18 I, damage. Jeez. Alright. Uh I had probably had a long rest since I was on the beach and stuff, right? Yeah. Alright. Ah I so, sort of sit there and and do my like roll two actually roll two D6. just to see if I land on the right side. Uh, this is determined something else. Uh oh. Seven. 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 Roll sevens tonight. Solid Seven. sevens. You do, um, you do land on the right side, uh, but when you do, you're like, ow, why didn't you tell me? And then you look at your shoulder and the old man is gone and it's because he's floating kind of over towards the uh, golden anchor oh he yeah. fell off your shoulder when you jump does that does that anchor look expensive it's solid gold oh man oh man yeah toss me that anchor i don't have any equipment on me right because i'm just a sasquatch yeah he grabs the golden anchor and Did you like swim over to me How far away is he? Uh, he's within five feet. You could reach and try to grab the anchor. Okay, if it looks like I could try to grab it, then I'm going to try and grab it. All right, I need a strength, uh, some sort of strength check. So athletics. All right, well, athletics is just base strength for me. Old bingo, which is negative one. <laughs> oh, you know, I fall into the abyss. <laughs> no, when you go to grab it, um, what instead happens is uh, the piranha plant thing next to it not only eats uh, eats the anchor, but does eat the old man. Good luck. Oh. Fuck. I really wanted that anchor. And hopefully that old man's okay. He seems pretty resilient, though. Ah, oh, man. I'm not the greatest you see, thief who ever you see lived. The the, the old man in its mouth one time when it chomps down and he shatters to glass. Bye forever. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going on my way. I'm going to try and jump over this saw. I think I'm going to take this one a little easy. I'm not going to try and do any fancy, any fancy handsprings. I'm just going to try and time it and jump. All right. Still probably acrobatics though, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, give me something. 
Hey. You easily, you definitely jump over it. Oh man, sometimes simple is is the best way. You walk up to a bear trap. Snatches ass up in a bear trap. All right, is there anything in the bear trap? Uh, there is a piece of cheese. Hmm. I am kind of hungry. Can I make a sleight of hand check to try and snatch that cheese you without can. setting off the without setting <laughs> without setting off the uh, bear trap? Yeah, I'll let you make a, a sleight of hand. I would think maybe you'd want to disable the bear trap, but no, oh, you can God. definitely go for the cheese. Yeah, I'm just that cheese. You reach over, snatching the cheese, um, and you gain it. You you easily gotten this cheese. <laughs> I'm going to examine the cheese. Okay. Is it any anything unusual or it's just cheese? I mean, it just looks like a big block of Swiss cheese. I eat it. All right, you bite into it and you actually bite into something. Uh, there is something in it, something hard. But <laughs> when you pull it out, it is a strange compass. Um, it looks like it's uh, the dial, so like the actual like compass part of it, looks to be like a thief's arm. Like basically there's the design of a, a hooded thief and he has his arm as the compass, like actual compass part of it. Ooh, this is some kind of thief compass. Points towards the most valuable object within a one mile radius. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look in the way that it's pointing currently. Uh, it is pointing in this direction. Hmm. I'm not going back in there. It's pointing to this wall, basically. This wall? Oh, like like maybe if I go in here, because I'm yeah. assuming this looks like this guy that goes down or something. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. <laughs> I guess. Uh. I should probably disable this bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? You got a high enough roll. When you're like eating this cheese, you notice the bear trap is slowly like lifting up and just floats away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suspicious looking uh, holes underneath a bag. Yep. All right. I want what's in that bag. What is the best way? Can I can I just try to slow the hands grab that bag, or is it too like I'd have to step on the the holes to get close enough? You feel like you'd have you'd have to get near the holes, so there is a, a level of danger in it. All right. Uh, what would that be like? A uh... you could do another sleight of hand. Well, I can do a sleight of hand, but it's just I I'm there's a risk because I might. If you fail it, there's, you can get there's clearly holes. Hurt. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Let me get this. Let me get this. Uh, this bag. I'm gonna try and snatch up that bag. All right. You Ooh. snatch up that bag. Um, opening it uh, reveals that it is filled with powder. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Dust. Now, do I do I know this about it? Like, yes. You, you feel like you inherently know this. That's clearly really turmeric. Handful. Ooh, turmeric, my favorite. <laughs> you get the D100. feeling that the old man actually left these items. Oh, I kind of want to like do a <laughs> rail of this and just and roll a D one hundred. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think Bingo. You know, Bingo doesn't know. Well, I think Bingo doesn't know what this is, and he's gonna he's gonna do a rail of it. <laughs> oh, All right, hold on. First, you need to roll uh, a 1d8 plus 8 to know how many handfuls of dust you have for this, uh, this yeah. run. So how many rails per handful? That's the other question. Yeah, that's the question. We'll say it's one. It's one handful. It's one big it rail. A lot. 1d8 plus 8? Yeah. So this is going to determine how many of it you have. 
Oh, other. I think it's other way slash. Yeah, I'm retarded. I hope it rolls high. This is great. Eleven. Eleven. So you have eleven uses of it, basically. All right. Well, I'll use. I'll make it an even ten, and I'll. I'll. I'll uh, use some of this on myself for right now. All right. So here's my question. Do you want? I go, Ooh, turmeric, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> do you want the magic uh, table, right? The the random yeah. magic thing, or do you want me to do the very big magic table? Very big. Uh, I mean, like I feel like I'm in, I'm ingesting big. it directly into my sinuses, so it's probably going to be very big, right? That's probably true. Now hold on, I need to find my sheet. Oh boy. God, I mean, bingo. It's bingo. Like he would. He would snort the mystery powder. <laughs> he would do no, a lot of it too. Yeah. Kind of like concerning. a whole handful. I mean, a whole handful. Yeah. All right, Bingo. I need you to roll a one d thousand. Oh goodness. <laughs> I love the big oh. table. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. One d. Uh, I need it's a one d ten thousand. My mistake. Oh goodness. Okay. How many zeros? That's four. Did it roll? Yes! <laughs> 69! <laughs> nice. Bingo was... Nice. 69, and then what is it? Uh, 24. 24. If you're not dead, Bingo. <laughs> I mean to. <laughs> I was a good character. He died the way he lived. Okay. You, you, uh, start a, you start a big fucking amount of this. And this is actually, I think, very appropriate for how you did it. Bingo, you feel energized. You think you've gained the powers of a god. I feel like I, I feel like a golden god. You legitimately feel like you've been touched by the divine. Um, and that is, <laughs> so that is what actually happens. You think you are. <laughs> you, right now, Bingo, you think you're a god. Oh, I'm getting still the other way. And uh, do I have any? Do I do I feel any special powers with that, or I'm just you, you, feel you do you do have special powers with it, although they are up. They are basically a DM thing. Okay. <laughs> I need you, Bingo. You have to get in the mindset. Bingo thinks he's a god. Yeah. And so, if you ever decide to do something divine, yeah. I'm gonna make you roll two d six to determine what happens. All right. Well, uh, to test out my new godlike powers, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna jump. <laughs> oh goodness! I'm gonna jump off this platform and just try to fly over to here. Okay. I need your old two d six. And by the way, how does Bingo word this? Uh, he goes, uh, he says, he's still, he's still just screaming that he's the greatest thief alive, and he jumps forward, like, arms outstretched, like, chest out. Like, uh, you know, like he's okay. doing a dive. Uh, 2d6. 7. A 7, okay. Okay, so you want to fly. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe I can fly. There's a problematic side effect. Uh, so <laughs> as you fly, you're like, I believe I can fly. And you're flying in the air. Yeah. And then you kind of bump into the wall and you start floating a little further than you would maybe like. Oh, fuck. Uh, you don't seem to stop flying. Uh, but I am going to reveal oh. some more. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is what looks like another walkway. Um, this one, however, is uh, is a walkway with those things, but also yeah. there appears to be these large tumblers with spikes. They're like yeah. whirling back and forth. These right here? Yeah. Look at, well, look, no, at look at Mario thing. No, here, right here. Oh, these are like smashers? Yeah, they're like smashers. They keep coming down. Oh, God. I'm going to look he... now as I flew past this over here. Did it look like there was any obvious like door over here that I would you could see that there was an opening in the bottom that you could possibly have crawled through. All right. Well, shit, I don't want to monopolize everybody's time, but probably Bingo's just going to keep floating to the right. <laughs> as Bingo starts floating to the right, I figured, you know, we, you didn't get to play. We get a longer yeah, yeah. time. Okay. <laughs> I'll just um, go until, till here. Yeah, till there. Um, and then what, Bingo? What do you do? Uh, I'll try to touch my toes down and, and sort of land on this thing, this new thing. All right, you've stopped landing on it. You still feel like you're flying. You're like hovering a bit I'm like off the ground. Toe, tippy toe walking. Yeah. Imagine do low I... gravity. Yeah. Oh, I can moonwalk. I'm gonna like push off and do like a jump, like a big jump and get to yep. here, like right before the crusher area. You flow forward, and this thing slams down uh, before slowly rotating itself back up. All right. I'm going to look. Can I look here down this way and see if there's anything that I would be interested in? Um, you see that the walkway does veer to the right. It looks like it goes towards something, like towards the wall of this tent, which, by the way, on the outside of this, this is, just looks like a big circus tent. Um, and you uh, see what looks like a glowing uh, golden um, lamp floating in front of another one of those uh, plants. Ooh, I bet that's a genie lamp. All right, I'm going to point... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to point my finger at this thing, and I'm just going to say... Halt. All right, roll 2d6. Eight. Uh, it's an eight, so eight. It's perfect, so it does do what you say, but there's an unexpected side effect. All right, when you say halt, it suddenly rotates around, stopping as it was about to fall, and there is a face on it as it goes why? Because <laughs> I am Bingo, Lord of the Thieves, and I command it. All right, I'm going to need a persuasion check. Persuasion. Well. Well. Mm, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I know you probably are not familiar with bingo uh trickery domain god that's what mm -hmm. i am i'm a divine being i'm smasher i smash i see i see that's good um but haven't you ever wanted more out of life <laughs> make another persuasion <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you know, man, I, I respect a man who knows what he wants, but <laughs> there can't be that many things to smash out here. Mm. He, lo he looks around and then looks at you. They're you. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to go step right there. If you, I know you're going to smash me. I think you will. I mean, you know, fair enough. Uh, but wouldn't you rather smash some gnomes? Mm. Make another persuasion. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying stuff until it doesn't work. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah, if you go What's all a gnome? the way, uh, it's like me, but um, so furry. Yeah, but only on their face. All right. Where are and they? they 
Uh, they're inside the tent. Mm. And he looks at the tent, and then you just see him float away. He, like, floats up and over the tent. Huh. That'll come back later. I, I'll proceed to the next <laughs> thing. All right. There's a buzzsaw. I'm just going to hop over this buzzsaw. Yeah, it lets you. <laughs> and I come to this guy. This thumper. You go, excuse me, thumper two. Oh, yeah? Your friend said he needed you at the top of the tent. All right, he floats away. And in <laughs> fact, the third one also just goes, all right. And then you see this buzzsaw float away. <laughs> oh, man, I'm powerful. I'm going to come over to here and see this lamp. There is a floating lamp. I'm going to do the Bingo. finger crook. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You feel as though you have some sort of attunement to this lamp, and you're Ooh. not sure why. I'm going to yell at this piranha plant. I'm going to say, hey, give me back my fucking lamp. Are you doing your divine power to do this, or are you talking to it? Um, I'll start with just, I'll just start by asking nicely. It doesn't seem to register. It just snaps at you. All right, asshole. I, I sort of pull, I put my hands on my belt and I like pull my pants up like indignantly, you know, like. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and then I'm going to, I'm going to say, give me my lamp. I'm going to roll 2d6. All right. We're slowly nice. creeping up. A nine. Uh, nine. A nine is. Uh, still, it's still unfortunately. It works in perfectly choosing. Okay. So you want him to give you the lamp, but it doesn't work quite how you want. Okay. It hands you. It it knocks you over the lamp, and the lamp floats towards you. Bingo. Um. But when oh, you sorry. go to grab it, it's a okay. little too fast, and it kind of just clinks off your hand and starts to float away. Ah fuck! Which direction? Uh, like up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and jump using my like moon jump ability right. to like grab it. Make a deck save. Twenty one. Twenty one. You leap up, whoop, snatching the lamp. Um, when you do, you you sort of land back softly on the ground. Again, you feel this strange sort of attunement to this lamp, you know, and, and you've been using these weird powers lately, so there's only one conclusion you can come to. It's a cool lamp, lamp. <laughs> and you got, like, this must be, like, your holy artifact. Oh. And it can't be anything else. Sure. All right. Once I get my temple built, this will go on the altar and and my my paladins will you know keep it safe for me as you stash but, it away can i look in it oh you can look in it when you look in it uh bingo what do you imagine like the comfiest room for bingo is <laughs> it's actually not that comfortable <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like it's got it's like a wooden like it's a wooden <laughs> rocking chair in the yeah. middle of like a cabin yeah and there's like a but there's like a nice roaring fire and lots of booze yep and that's what you see in there hmm i could hide in there <laughs> if i ever need to bingo you're right you feel like you can hide in there if you needed to but for now i better get the fuck out of here and in front of you, you see maybe a possible way to get the fuck out of here. You see what looks like a small hole that you could crawl through. Well, Mingo thinks to himself, there's never been a strange hole I haven't crawled into. <laughs> and, he, and he goes in. Crawling into there. Um, you realize you kind of hit something and you kind of wiggle you feel like you're inside of something something soft and you realize you are inside of this giant stuffed bear 
Oh, so I'm like in this bear looking out at all this stuff that's yeah. in here. Yes. Oh, and I can see all these gnomes and shit. You can. They all look identical. Um, Fucking you no. see also the clown has put the crystal on this strange uh, demonic altar. Oh, um, now do I want that crystal? It has the old man in it and he's like rotating. Um, and he goes, with this, I finally will get a position with pride in them and wrath will finally give us some goddamn respect. <laughs> Carnage deserves it. Uh, what the fuck? And he looks over and you see leaking out of the crystal is this strange liquid that drips to the ground, becomes a tiny old man, and he scurries away really quick, but then like Carnage here steps over and stomps it. Mm. Uh, and it shatters. Yes, and he shatters. Seems this seal isn't as good as I thought. Little frog doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. I'll start the ritual and we'll end this circus and go home. Plenty of souls will get us there. And he goes through uh, this large door into the main hall of this uh, circus. And I'm going to reveal that really quick. Where's my... It's so hard to reveal stuff. <laughs> it's so hard to reveal stuff to people, you know? I know, it's, it's hard. Um, you see, Bingo, for the briefest moment, what looks like a large circus with a crowd starting to pull in. In, in there? Uh, into here. Oh, in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm in this bear. I'm going to summon. I'm going to focus my energy. And I'm going to... I'm going to say... Bears of a feather. Flock together. And I'm going to try to summon those banjo bears to aid me in rescuing <laughs> the old man. Okay. Um, I need you to roll a 2d6. Eleven. Eleven, Hell oh, yeah. actually, that, that's good. I'm fairly certain it's my table. <laughs> table is, oh, because I think an 11 plus. Oh no, it's 12 plus gives you the other thing. 11 plus two, it works as intended without issues. Um, so where are you summoning them? I want to summon them like right there so that they can like just grab the old man's crystal. All right. As they poof. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody has seemed to notice them as the shadowy magic has uh, sort of conjured both of them into being. And they. Well, no. and <laughs> and I'm gonna I am going to uh I'm going to attempt to telepathically with my godlike magic just instruct okay. them that they're supposed to take that old man and then uh then bust through the tent wall of the top right. to the north. <laughs> well you said it. I need that 2d6 roll. Alrighty. <laughs> Ten, all right, works as intended. Um, Heck yeah, let's so go, Bears. They go, huh? they look over at you, and they give a knowing nod, um, and they very quietly snatch the old man's crystal. They can't seem to open it, um, but they grab it, and then they both, because uh, you said you wanted them to smash through it, or like tear through it, like. Just get through it. You you want us to just leave? Yeah, wasn't there a way to get out of here somewhere? Yeah. Shadow magic. As oh, they, yeah. 
they disappear. Because <laughs> they use shadow magic to teleport. <laughs> Shit. Well, I guess that's kind of good. I feel like no good could come of whatever that clown was up to. So at least his plot is th foiled. Um, but, but now, Bingo, how will you get out? And what will you do with her food? Oh, that's right. As we cut away uh, to... circus of calamity at which point uh some of the other party members show up uh it's going to be everybody who wasn't with the other group so it's like nah uh, bloco etc can i have finally caught nah <laughs> no yes. not not actually made it here to the circus first Okay. Uh, she's over here hitting this bell with a hammer. You're gonna do a good job hitting that bell. Yeah, I am gonna hit the bell. Did didn't she like <laughs> have some sort of like sh sugar shock or something going on? Uh, she did eat a lot of sugar, um, but she also has a companion at the moment. <laughs> oh yeah. A furloid beach buddy. As it goes, wow! <laughs> Here, right on my head. And Na will. Yeah. Uh, it makes a nest out of Na's hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Na picks up the hammer. Na picks up the hammer. I'm gonna um, need an athletics check. All right. Yeah, she pulls back to swing. Boom! Smacks it. The bell, bing, hits the bell. It goes, kunk, cracks off of the thing. It goes flying. I win. I win. I win. I win. Oh, yeah, you. You win. And here, here's some tickets. And uh, you get a uh, one of the big tickets. Tournament over there. Where? Over there. Right, make sense. I win! I win! She's gonna look around. She's gonna look around the circus. What else does she see? All right. Here, actually, we should probably have everybody roll initiative because I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. Yes. Um, but while that's going on, I'll explain the other events. There is a uh, an apple bobbing game. There was a uh, a strength mallet game, but it has now been uh, thoroughly completed. There is a whack-a-mole style game, uh, some sort of archery game, uh, what looks like a game that involves shooting people out of a cannon, uh, and a strength game, like uh, against a strong man. other group so it would be uh yars <laughs> you could have it just be jeeves jeeves just went a different There's a bull riding uh, thing as well. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, sir, oh, okay, I gotta roll. Uh, I gotta do my little druid divination real quick. Right. I gotta see what the crystals foretell of my future. Six. Oh, boy. These crystals are telling me, uh, it's a wheeling cosmic omen. All right, cool. All right, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's probably about right, though. Yeah. Uh, is any of them, uh, wisdom-based? Wisdom-based? Uh, because um, it's set, like, almost eight-foot-tall elephant man that's almost 400 pounds. He ain't that strong. Yeah, um... Are dexterous. You feel probably the bobbing with apples type one is is wisdom based. Oh wait, that's easy. Let me go the bobbing <laughs> with apples thing. Where is that? Uh, it is to the north up here. Okay, cool. So problem, we'll go over there. Hey, you want to play? Yeah, I'll play. I don't remember how Brom sounds. Yeah, I'll play. All right. Hey, no funny yeah. business. Yeah, no funny business. All right. uh, what do I get if I win? You get a ticket. Okay. So Brom is gonna um, stick his nose into the water and start sucking out the water. <laughs> okay. Like, um, like an elephant. What kind of skill would you think? Like a con save but with advantage? Uh, could that be wisdom based? <laughs> I'm not sure. If you can make the argument of how it's wisdom based, I would love yeah, to. Because no one would think about doing it. Yeah, but thinking about and doing are two separate things, my man. All right. Uh, no, if that's the case, uh, he'll just die for apples, but keep his nose above the water. Okay. So I'll let you do a um. You can either do a sleight of hand or an acrobatics uh, with advantage, because you basically have an unlimited amount of time. No. You're sitting there, like, trying to bite him, but the problem is, is the barrel is not really that big, so, like, your tusks keep hitting the sides and you keep getting stuck. God, God damn it. <laughs> Try to go in from was... odd angles. Yeah, the guy who's watching is doing nothing to help you in this as well. There was a couple of times where you got stuck and you were worried you're not going to be able to pull your head out. Can you, you're uh... Done. I mean, uh... You guys really didn't think about bigger people when you were making this, did ya? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like a children's game. Fair enough. That's Brahms. That's it for Brahms. Alright. What is Bloco gonna go do? Uh, Bloco will try this accuracy game down here. Alright. So, right over here. Is that here for the... for this? Yeah. Um, something Bloco will notice, much like the rest of them as they move around eventually, is, uh, all these gnomes look the same. Yeah, you wanna try playing this game? Yeah, all right. I think I might be pretty good at it. You get uh, two tickets. You do it with a dagger. You get one ticket. You do it with a bow. Let's see here. Is it just this this thing, or is it like popping the balloons? Yes, you're, you're popping the balloons, so you're gonna make an attack roll, basically. Well, not really a challenge if I use a bow, is it? Yeah. I'll go with the dagger. All right. You pull out your dagger. I believe that's a disadvantage for the range. Uh, yes. I might have a key thing for this. Where is that? It's 
Spend one key point to run attacking at long range from imposing disadvantage. To the end of my current right. turn. You whoop, pull out your dagger and let's see an attack roll. Nice. I'll take nice. it. Oh, e easily. Yeah. Whoop, psh, stabs into there and he kind of grumbles. <clears throat> here's your, here's your two tickets. Thank you, Mister. Um, what what do I use these tickets for exactly? In tournament. Points towards the main tent. Very well then. And uh, he'll Damn set off that. Way. He'll set off that way, and it's Yars' turn. All right, Yars. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yars is over here, and he's looking at this bull ride. He goes, uh, he said, he walks up to the gnome over here and he's like, hey. Yeah. That looks kind of fun. Yeah, you want to ride it? Yeah. But I don't have any tokens or anything. How do I, uh, what's it cost? Uh, you just get on it. And if you're on it long enough, you get a ticket. Well, I like that. Simple enough. What do I do? Do I put my hand over my head or do I hang on for dear life? Uh, just hang on. All right. Um, as the mechanical bull starts whirling uh, and making a bunch of mechanical noise, nah, the, uh, your furloid, like its ears fold back and it goes, Wah, I don't like that. <laughs> um, but Yars, as it suddenly yurks back and forth to and fro, um, it is like being on a bucking bronco. Um, oh. I'm going to need some sort of strength uh, check, so an athletics or just a flat save. All right. All right, as you're whoo, whoo, being thrown around, Yars, you are uh, luckily being a, a stout dwarf as you are. You have plenty of stability. Um, as it tries in vain to throw you off before it suddenly putters and you hear like a gear whirl and then it goes <laughs> all right all right get off all right there's two tickets two tickets yeah well, i was expecting something more than that no you can get something over the counter All right. What? Oh, I, go, I walk over to this counter. Uh, it's this one with the gnome. Oh, I go over to this. Uh, I go over to this gnome. This counter. Oh, wrong counter. Sorry. And I say, hey, hey, bud. Hey, little guy. Hey. Not often I get to say that. Uh, well, I, I hold up my two tickets, and I say, what will this buy? What will what will this buy me? And he kind of looks uh, in his little case, and then he looks behind him. Uh, two tickets. One ticket will get you into the main circus tent. And I guess with the other one, you could buy some mockingbird gum. Uh, uh, all right. You could buy a thing of cotton candy. Now I'll have some of that gum. That looks tasty. All right, here you go. And he gives you a big gumball. All right. Put that in my pocket. Uh, I say, I can... Uh, just I, just, I, hold, I can on, just... you're, hold on, hold on. You're just going to put that loose in your pocket? Well, where else am I supposed to put it? Your mouth. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to chew it right now. All right, you do you. All right, I will. Yars puts the gumball in his pocket. <laughs> and he goes, I just, uh, I just, uh, walk this way. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right. As we, uh, we we're going to cut to, ooh, I think, oh, nah. All right. Um, yeah, Nas, he, Nas happy. What's up? He puts, he puts an out of order sign up. 
I win. I win. I don't know, ring the bell. Well, I, I did that too. I mean, I need to do this more often where I just have one character that has the same voice. The same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a salary man trying poorly to win this whack a mole game. Uh, oh, darn. Uh, one more try, sir. All right. And it starts to go, 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 and uh, popping out of these things are these strange looking uh, bullets. They're basically like wooden bullets popping out of the holes. Um, but you swear one time when it pops up, you see something else. Um, it's a bullet, but it has like a little guy on the back of it. But then it goes back in before the man can hit it. I was looking for him all over the map. Oh, um, darn. <laughs> You're not... Acha, you're not good at this. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm I'm getting better. Um, just, I, I'll try one more time. Uh, and he's going to keep trying. Uh, he fails, and then he tries again. My turn. You got to wait your turn, kid, until he's done. But he already went. Yeah, he gets to go until he doesn't want to do it no more. <laughs> Nas gonna get up on her tiptoes so she's like I don't know probably just under shoulder height of him yeah and she's gonna just roar at him alright make it intimidate <laughs> <laughs> 16 ah, oh I'm sorry uh, after you I'll I'll go in the back of the line shoot that my turn all right, yeah, whatever. More um, hammers. They start goom -tum, goom -tum, lifting up. Um, I'm going to need some, uh, I need an attack roll. Okay. Now, Na is going to try and grab the little man and not smack him. Okay. But here's an attack roll for what it's worth. Um, damn, uh, should I just do like a... What kind of attack roll? Uh, just like your melee attack. Okay. Because uh, you have a little we'll, mallet. Yeah, we'll do this one. We'll use a warhammer. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, easily. You, goom, goom, goom. You're like hitting them all. You actually hear some things possibly break inside of this machine. Um, but then at the last moment, you know, probably the last three that pop out, you see what looks like the little old man inside of uh the machine he's holding on to one of the uh <laughs> to one of the um what's it called oh damn i just lost my train of thought he's holding on to one of the bullets uh, i need a deck save or a sleight of hand to grab him okay the dex save is just a little higher so. 15 as you go to get him you barely miss him as he goes back into the thing um, is it my turn again you can, you took two I take two all right um, are you just gonna try to grab him this time and not even bother hitting it Yeah, yeah. Nas just gonna try and grab him. All right. It boom, 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 boom starts popping up. One more deck save. All right, come on. Ah! As you swipe to get him, he launches out of the machine and goes flying into the air. And you actually don't see where he lands. But he does land inside of another game. <laughs> hey, hey, kid, kid, here's your ticket. Uh, thanks. Uh. 
<laughs> now it's gonna go searching. All right, the count. All right, the count's gonna meander on down here, and he's gonna debate between what's going on with his cannon and what's going on with these flaming rings. Yeah. Uh, flaming rings are uh, like a shooting game. Uh, if you shoot with a bow, you get uh, one ticket. If you manage to hit the target with an, uh, a dagger, you get two tickets. The cannon is a sort of acrobatics uh, thing where you get shot out of a cannon and try to land into a, uh, a circle, like a circle of floats in the middle of the water. Is there is there an easy way to get off the circle once you land there? Yeah, you just swim back. Oh yeah, the count doesn't want to get wet. He's already, he's already got sand in his shoes. He's, he's gonna try this dagger toss. Alright. You want a dagger or you want a bow? Uh I'll take a dagger. Alright, here's a dagger. Alright. It is a little disconcerting he just gave you that knife so quickly. The count the count has daggers. Okay. He takes the dagger back. <laughs> uh, the count's gonna... The count's gonna try to toss the dagger. It's the target. Alright. It will be a disadvantage because it's uh, past your normal range. Yeah. I'm also not very good at dexterity. <laughs> Let's see it then. Oh. As five. you whew, throw it, it hits this, like... Actually, it probably hits this, like right one that's not even kind of close to it. Uh, sorry. You want, you want to borrow my dagger? Yeah, let me, let me see your dagger here. Alright. Here, he hands you the dagger. Ten. A ten. Whew, throws it. Whew, it's this one. Um, unfortunately, does not hit the main target. Right, third time's a charm. Uh, uh. As you whoop, oof, hit this one again. I guess not. Sorry, bud. Ah. Uh, okay. You wanna try yeah. again? Yeah, yeah, if you keep giving me daggers. Alright, here. Daggers he gives you <clears throat> He gives you three more daggers. Alright. <laughs> the twelfth hit it. A 12 <laughs> does not. It it gets closed. And when you do, you're like just fucking chucking daggers. The guy just goes, hey, hey, bud, come here. Okay. What, what's up? Here. Just take it. Take it. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Yay, the count. The count ah. wins. The count wins. As you as you take it, Troka. It? Oh yes, right. hold on. I just want to do something real yeah. quick. With an 18 insight, have I ever heard of carnivals just giving out tickets for free? Uh, no, no, hundred percent no. In fact, with an 18, I feel like the count understands that this might be a grift, but you're not sure what the grift is. You're like trying to get get me to do something with these tickets. Yes. Okay. Alright, that'll be the turn. Alright. As uh, I'm, I'm gonna come in running from off screen as as Droga's just gonna like run and as he finally sees Nah. Droga, as like, you're <laughs> running, you sort of ran chasing after Nah as Furloids chased after you. But when you got here, you turned around and they were gone. <laughs> Did I actually see these things? Yes, they were very fast. Do I see the one in her hair? Yeah, as it goes, Ring! and it's made like a nest from her like kind of dreads. So I only know these things as being harmful. <laughs> yeah. As, as like, I'm just gonna like put my hand on Nas' shoulder and she's like, you're not, when, Hold still, please don't run anymore. As like, I'm gonna just take the furloid thing by the ear as I'm just gonna like 
throw it off her you, hair. You, no. you try to grab it, and it, like, buries itself in her hair more. No! no. It's a game! Help me! Help! <laughs> not, not going to run over here. <laughs> and when you Kirby see a man, close... like, throws, throws a dagger, it goes right over Nas's head. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know oh. what? No, it's the salary man. He's like, oh, oh, oh no! I almost hit that child. <laughs> All right, can I full? Can I just full body tackle Nas? Uh, I mean, you can try. Like, like contested in a, athletics, like, right now. Like it, like in a parent like wrestling their kid kind of way. Contested athletics, right now. All right. Nah, you like Droga like dives towards Na, but Na like slides out of the way and Droga just smashes into this tent here. Game! Good game! Run! Run! Ah, ah, ah. I'm running! I'm having fun! I'm gonna kill Baps. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll move, I'll move her on her turn. Alright. Is that what Droga that'll was end. doing? Okay. That, uh, that, uh, I'm pretty certain that'll end me. Uh, Brom. Yep. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, no, wait, stop around. As this happens, this clown here, um, he chuckles Von Doom, goes, Hey, everybody! The circus is about to have its main event, so come bring your tickets and come on in. It's gonna be a show to remember. <laughs> and he's he sort of like walks backwards back into the tent. Um, as people start to sort of head towards here to turn in their tickets. Oh, well, I don't have a ticket. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here, here's the ticket. Oh, truly, the fortune does tell the truth. <laughs> Thank you, kind. Uh, what are you? I am a gnome. Kind gnome. As he eyes one of the apples and goes, uh, You wouldn't mind if I partake in an apple, would you? Yeah, sure, go ahead, take Oh, thank you. As Brom takes an apple and starts making his way towards the, uh... Brom makes not... a perception check. Oh, finally, something I'm good at. <laughs> oh, thank but, God. All that like, wisdom. Hell, hell yeah, it's finally paying off. Not good as me, say, but I'll take a plus nine. All right. With it, as you sort of like, yeah, sweet. You have this apple in your hand, and you notice something strange about it. It has, like, this weird stuff on it. <laughs> Why would they poison an apple? Why? You'll hmm. bring it over to the thing and hold it and... Show everyone once say they all gather. I'll say you run into Yars at least. He was the closest. Oh. Hey, Yars. I think something may be up with this place. What are you talking about? Well, that gnome over there said I could have an apple from the trough. And, well, look at the apple. It has a skull on it. I'm, I'm, I'm not a medic. But I know skull apples don't grow in the wild. Uh, uh, give it here. He hands over the apple. All right. I'm going to, uh, nature. I want to use my nature knowledge, which is nothing <laughs> as a, uh, <laughs> as an underground fighter dwarf, uh, to tell if this thing grows in the wild or not all right make nature check i mean yeah probably yeah i tell him i say yeah this 
This actually looks like an apple that I've that uh that grows in the wild. I would know. Are you, are you saying that? To to, are you saying that you know more about the wild than a druid? No. But so I've definitely seen like... that apple. I've seen that apple before, and oh. uh, I, I can only imagine that I've seen it growing Here. somewhere. Eat the apple. It's probably a tasty apple with that one. Yeah. Eat the apple. Hmm. I fortune telled, and I only have good fortune today. And I believe that it may extend to you as well. So, so, Yarza, he brings the apple up to his to his beard. And he sniffs it. What's it smell like? It smells like, uh, it smells like an apple. Um, with kind of a tangy, sharp, almost poisonous ass smell. <laughs> but that's really just the scent. I mean, like a sulfur kind of smell. Yars uh, gingerly touches his tongue onto it. Just the tip. <laughs> All right. Make, roll 2d6. That's how we're going to determine this. You touch the tip of it, and there is a kind of very audible sizzling noise uh, that <laughs> comes from it. As Yars, you are going to take 10 points of poison damage, which as a dwarf is only five. Oof! You gave me a poisoned apple! And I, and I Rom shove it goes. into his chest. What do you give me a poisoned apple for? When you I do... I told you... You shove it into his chest. It squishes the apple and falling out of it into Brahm's hands is the old man. Hello. Hello. Oh, catch him. He gives you good stuff. You have oh, I, he's I, I, Brahm just closes his fist gently around the old man. Just go, well, I got you. Would you like a present? I love pre Boy, today was a good fortune. <laughs> As uh, Brom yes. picks from this list of items, you get Aloha Wear. Ah. By default, it counts as a, uh, a basically a shirt that gives you armor, uh, but you can pick from one of the <laughs> island auras. I will, uh, uh... Yeah, you could, you could search yes. through that while we are with, uh, Bloco. Yeah. You've made your way, uh, probably met up with the Count, um, as you guys were making your way to the counter. Uh, yeah, let's see, I'll, uh, Bloco will approach the counter and see what they have for trade for one ticket, since apparently it costs one ticket to enter the, the show. Think Brom, he uh, he goes here. He slides it out from his sleeve, and it becomes a full-size shirt. Um, and then he goes, you "Need to find me some of the utmost importance." And he scurries really quickly out of your hand and away, in kind of a concerning, like almost unsettling <laughs> way. Armor, Brom, like no little man. Oh, I got a shirt though. As, it is a pretty nice shirt. As he dons the Hawaiian shirt, does it give him stunner shades? Uh, it does. Um, you actually gain khakis and flip flops. Ah, oh, yes. This elephant's rocking a Hawaiian vacation yeah. look. He's got the Hawaiian vacation look, and your shirt has like waves. It's like blue and you know white. You know waves swirling across the uh, the face of it. Does Yars have them? Uh, Yars does not. Nice. Um, 
Oh, he's like, I can get you some gum. Or cotton candy. You haven't oh. got enough for the other stuff. What's the other stuff? How much is the other stuff? tickets you get a cool ring oh you're right I don't have enough tickets for those for that cool ring um, you know I, don't, I doubt anybody would ever get that many tickets is this some kind of a scam it's not a scam we don't just give out tickets well you know I guess that checks out uh, I'll, t I'll take some cotton candy. That sounds lovely. And, uh... There you go. I reckon I'll check out the show. Have fun. Uh, and when I get in there, am I able to see the... Was it Chuckles Von Doom? Uh, yes. Uh, Chuckles Von Doom has made his way to the center of the stage. Does he seem like... Just a performer, or like kind of a creepy dude. He he is a ringleader. Like he seems to be bossing the gnomes around. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of vibes I get. Maybe I should do. Could I do it in like an inside check to just see what kind of vibes I get from him? Yeah. All right. Thirteen. I mean, he's as creepy as a clown could be. Okay, so everything, he seems to be in normal, uh, clown condition. Perfectly normal. Normal clown. Alright, yeah, then, then Blogo will just start trying to find a seat. Uh, I guess on the left over the, here. Right here, I'm gonna move the count token, because the entrance is technically over here. Oh, oh my bad. Okay. Let's so. see. Yeah, I guess over here then, on one of these front rows. Uh, does the count turn in his ticket to go into the circus? Alright. Yars. Yo. What are you doing? Yars is uh, standing in line. To go in? Looking around. Yeah. He's looking at, he's, uh, he's waiting in line to get inside the tent. One ticket. Yep, here you go. Hey. I hand it to him. He takes the ticket. Uh, Does he do anything with it? He puts it in a bin next to him. Oh. Oh, I earned that. And, uh, Yars walks on in. Are we assuming everybody is making their way in? Yeah, uh, Nas just gonna be like, Come on, Uncle Droga! It's about to start! And she is gonna go to the counter and slap down her two tickets. Be like, one big ticket? Are they the same size? He said the first one was a big ticket. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. No, hold on. You got a big ticket. Uh, yeah, big ticket. You get something special. Big ticket. Yeah. Little girl. And he reaches in and he pulls out a bag. Uh, <laughs> and you have... Let's see how many are in this bag. There is six of them in this bag. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, these are good. D th thanks, mister. I'm Thank having you. such a good time. I'm glad. Well, you should, uh, you know, have a good time watching the circus. I'm going to the circus. Come on, Mr. Droga. As, hey. as, like, I want to, like, pick thing like pick pieces of like the the cart that i crashed into like out of my dreads the stroke is like hang on i'm coming <laughs> i 
as everybody makes their way inside. Uh, I imagine finding your places. Um, so if you guys want to put yourselves in these seats wherever you'd want to be. Um, as the circus is being sort of prepped and, and set up. While this happens. Where's everybody sitting? Uh, Sorry, DM. Go ahead. That's all right. Uh, Brad, are you there? Or is he still gone? No, I'm I'm here. Okay. I love this fucking picture of Brock. <laughs> um, yeah. As we cut back to behind the scenes where Bingo is currently inside of this bear suit. All right. I'm going to stick my hands. Bingo. Oh, you're go going to over. You're going to overhear um, as these people are getting food from the buffet. Uh, yeah. These two gnomes kind of meet up and he goes. So what's the deal? Oh, we need to get enough souls in here so we can sacrifice them and teleport the tent to where bride is. Oh, OK. Uh oh. Should be quick. Yeah, but painful. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Oh, you got roast beef this time? As they're sort of just chatting. <laughs> Bingo is going, oh man, now if it was lust, that would be another matter. But I don't think we want to go sacrificing all these souls to go see pride. I gotta warn him. And he's gonna stick his hands and legs through the bear through the bear <laughs> <laughs> so that he yeah so that i'm like uh like i'm wearing the bear basically it fits you surprisingly perfectly yeah so now i'm a sasquatch inside of a bear a divine yeah. sasquatch inside a, a divine, divine a god <laughs> i have a guy of a i am a hairy god and i'm going to i'm just gonna I'm gonna try to make my way inconspicuously, like, towards the door, and can I do like a performance to like just act nonchalant? Like, yeah, it's you cool can do that. that. There's a bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Are you like whistling or something else? Yeah, I whistle. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so you're you're making your way over there. And I'm a devil as, and I do what I want to do, do what I want all the time. <laughs> as you're making your way over here, this gnome goes, Hey. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey. Yep. Uh, you. Oh. So you. I, I put, hey, I know I put you. my hands on my hips. And he, he, he comes over to you real quick. Here. And he hands you some keys. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, thanks. If things get rowdy, we got a barrel out there for you to hide in. A barrel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the you barrel can. of the gun. Of course. Don't forget the frog girl. And oh. a little, little sass. Yeah, where are you guys putting the frog girl again? She's in the other room. Oh, should I grab her right now? Uh, I mean, we're just starting. We, you know, we don't want to have the accident happen now. Remember, get her on the tightrope, and then, you know, just kind of... And it gives you a wink. And a shove. You, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know the deal. And I go, uh... All right. I go out he goes, here. He sits back and starts scrolling. And as right. you walk out the door... There's a noise above him as he's sitting scrolling at the desk. He goes, what? And this giant thing smashes down on top <laughs> of him, kills him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's one of these. <laughs> it's, it's the super the smasher, yeah. <laughs> And the, these gnomes in here go, what the fuck? And they come over. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> As they seem very distracted. Oh, maybe I should maybe I should run in here. It's up to you. I'm gonna run. I'm I am gonna run in here. I'm gonna run in here but, while the gnomes are no, distracted. They're like, holy fuck! And actually, as you come in, 
this devil moves over and yeah. uh he's like oh hold on and he's like what's going on out here and he's like trying to peek past you uh, I, but I he's there. flying above you so he's yeah i'll walk underneath him and be like oh it's no big deal i just gotta get the frog oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah whatever what the hell's going on over there um as you see gertrude sitting there uh, her hands are crossed and she is not wearing that normal getup that she was wearing before, you know, the kind of leather uh, that she had. She's actually wearing like this just shitty kind of jester costume. It seems like they forced her into it. Um, Perfect. As she's sitting there pissed off, sees you come walking up and be like, I look oh, like a, I am a, I'm a stuffed bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Listen, can you just fucking kill me now? Like, this is so goddamn embarrassing. I can't. I say it's caught. very, it's very Listen, tempting. God, like, God, if Dad saw me in this fucking cage and I couldn't pick my way out, and she throws something metal on the ground, and you see it's some lock picks that she has just bent to shit. I I look at her, like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Well, she can't see it. You're in a bear costume. <laughs> That's right. But you well, can you're get the. A, you're also still I'm a also sasquatch. A sasquatch. Aren't you? Yeah. Don't just stare at me. Come All on, right. Get, get it over with. Now, if I now can she understand me when I talk? Uh, she does not. All right. The gnomes I'll, do. I'll open the. I'll open her cage and like gesture to her, to like come with me. All right. She gets up. And then I'm going to start walking, making my way back this way. Um, you know, and however far I can get on sort of my turn, what everyone else is doing. You're you're walking your way out. Make a perception check. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I said, I'm, okay. I'm not a wise man. <laughs> Never mind. As you're sort of walking, right? Yeah. Taking it all easy. Yeah. Like my knees uh, don't bend because I'm a bingo. bear, so I'm like waddling like cartoonishly. <laughs> bingo. <laughs> I need you to make a deck save. Oh no. Wait, do they think that I'm is it one of those smashers trying to get me? Alright, deck save. Twenty. A twenty, you passed. She grabs you and tries I... to pull you over to the side because she's obviously going to try and like knock you out. Yeah. Uh, because you turned her back to her. Yeah. But you easily avoid her as she poof, um, and then she goes, oh, 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 ooh, oh I, man. I you got to watch this carpet. I, I slap the shit out of her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I shake my I shake my bear paw at her. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck, that hurt. <laughs> um, <laughs> but unfortunately, this has drawn the attention of the devil. Hey, what's going on over here? Oh, I got it under control. She was just trying to, you know, she's trying to get mouthy with me. Frogs, oh, yeah. you know? Wow. Yeah, I get that. Here. I'm going to put her in the, I got to take her to the tightrope. Here. Uh, and he, he brings you, or he reaches down, he gives you a pitchfork. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll gesture menacingly with the pitchfork at, at Gertrude to make her walk in front of me. All right, all right, God damn. Thanks, I'll bring it back in a second. I really appreciate that. She You're a good mumbles, dude. No, no problem. You know, <laughs> we got to work together It's in the it, contract. Exactly. And, you know, we have to follow the contract. I know. I mean, we're not gonna. That's also the in the contract. contract. Yeah. Um, make a uh, make a quick uh, perception check one more time. Perception. Doop. Oh, a little better. A little better. Yeah. She she grumbles to herself and is like, "Fuck." Yeah, Dad never really taught me how to knock out people. Yeah, blame your father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all have we all have dad issues. 
Yeah. Yeah. You're in a jester costume in a, in a fucking devilish circus in the middle of the ether. Gee, I wonder if you have daddy issues. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's in the contract, though. I mean, that's what it is. That is what it is. Wait, is the daddy issues in the contract? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah well, all of us have daddy issues, actually. Stipulation. <laughs> Stipulation of the contract. Uh, Actually, I'll, I, I'll put this. Yeah, you know, uh, old uh, Doom there. He's, he's all, you know, Carnage is all pissed off. You know, his mom's wrath, and uh, she don't give any respect. Yeah, he's mad about that, huh? Yeah, that's why we're all we all have daddy issues legally. Dip off the old block. Dip off the old block. But hey, I mean, things are looking up. Yeah. We'll be able to find that ever flame and have ourselves a nice cozy position, am I right? Yeah, because <clears throat> that old man's the key to that though, right? Oh yeah, he's like a big old beacon. He can find the ever flame just by his his uh magic. Well, he's like attuned to it, you know, that's why we got the crystal from that little frog there. You believe oh, yeah. that little uh that snake cult had it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. That was definitely what we were doing when we were working together for so hey, long. Hey, it was a little. I don't recognize you. Uh, you and I <laughs> pushing Gertrude with the pitchfork. All right, as you start pushing Gertrude. Right. <laughs> uh, um, you see. They're all surrounding this man and they're looking up and there's just a hole to the void above them from where that thing came crashing down i'm gonna try i'm gonna you know try and steer gertrude towards the uh towards the entrance here what are you doing right. cat gertrude is is looking over here um and noticing that the crystal is gone i'm gonna pat goes, her, i'm gonna pat her on the shoulder I'm gonna pat her on the shoulder. All right, I'm moving. I'm moving. No, I'm gonna like spin her around. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna point at the crystal with my bare paw, like where the crystal was, right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna make like I'm gonna like tap my head, side of my head, and then I'm gonna make like a whisper, some like push with my with my paw in front of my All face. Right. She is trying to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I need you to make a sleight of hand check because you're trying to like pass this message off. Yeah. Twenty six. She, she kind of goes, "What the?" Oh, and she she nods, and you hear her mumble under her breath, "The bears." Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving. You get the impression, Bingo. She thinks you're one of the bears. <laughs> the bears. Yeah. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. All right, and I'll just keep she's moving around. She's playing it there. up. Yeah. Um, she's going to to turn to you real quick, kind of like pretending to to make a big deal of this, right? And yeah. She goes, can I at least get my stuff back from over there? And she points to the corner. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, put my hands on my hips and, and then like gesture, like sort of annoyed, like, yeah, hurry up, hurry up. You know, like I, like I don't want her to, but I don't care. You know? Hmm. Uh, luckily these guys are plenty distracted from the last thing. <laughs> Um, as you guys begin making your way over here. Um, and then we'll cut to the party. Um, the event has sort of started. People have, have sort of pulled their way in. Um, it seems like, you know, not to just go describe every nuance of this fantastical circus, people on tight ropes, clowns jumping around. Um, and the like. It seems like the main event is going to be firing this large cannon 
uh, with a skull on it. It has this like draconic looking skull atop it. Um, you see more gnomes doing tightrope things and whatnot. Um, but yes, this is this is what you see happening. Is there anything the party would like to do during all this? I will clap her hands. Okay. And laugh delightedly. It's great. Um, can Blogo try to read Chuck Von Doom's mind to try to figure out what this strange finale might be? Okay, yeah. Uh, do you have detect like I, a yeah, I've got mind. I've got the medallion of thoughts, so I get three detect minds per day or detect thoughts per day. All right, creature has to make a save, I think. Oh no, you get surface level thoughts, um, and then you can try to probe deeper with a, uh, but it makes a wisdom save. Yeah. So surface level thoughts. He's thinking, oh man, this is it. This is gonna be so good. God, I can't wait. Well, Blanco's getting yeah. excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just so. gotta make sure it's lined up just right. And you see him looking over at this large, fiery circle. Oh, uh, can I attempt to probe deeper? Uh, you can. So I'm getting excited that it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Yeah, then it's gonna be so good. Deeper. You probe deeper to try to figure out exactly why it's gonna be so good. Um, uh, do you have it up? Because I don't, I don't have it up. Yeah, I have to make a wisdom save against your DC. Okay. Oh shoot! What is my DC? Again? It is. Uh. Ooh, it's a thirteen, so probably not. Yeah, uh, I definitely have higher than that. All right, uh, the deeper level thoughts, let's see if it fails, you gain more insight if any, to its emotional state. Okay, as he goes, I just gotta make sure the runes are right. When this is all off, I'll be able to meet up with Raph and fucking not have to deal with this shit anymore. God, it's gonna be so good. Finally, I'll be one of the big seven. Uh, do I do yeah, I understand? It cost a couple of lives. Whatever. Well, that's troubling. Um, do I understand? <laughs> the last part was a little pointed. Yeah. Do I understand the wrath and the big seven thing at all? Um, you can make a history check. I'll, tra I'll make it. I don't think Bloco was there for that. No, they weren't. Uh, it was Jacob Kane. Nope. Uh, you know, uh, Wrath, Seven. Not really. I mean, you can't really think of anything off the top of your head. Well, I'll just turn to yards and be like, well, the finale should be good. Apparently, some people might die. I guess the performers are ta really taking risks with this one. <laughs> I love dangerous stunts. And Yars claps his hands. You clap your hands. Uh, does uh, the count do anything? No, the count's just kind of observing all this and hanging out in the corner. Droga? I'm just making certain, like, Nas not gonna, like, run off. And, like, if she does, I'm prepared to, like, bolt tap that. Actually. No, I have a better idea. Does not have like a belt or like anything on her, or, like on her back. Yeah, she is a. Uh, she's actually kind of covered in belts and you know sheaths and weapons. Okay. <laughs> so she basically has a big harness covered in belts. Okay, I I would just like take out some like banditry that I have and kind of like braid it together real quick and I'm gonna make a makeshift leash as I'm <laughs> as I'm just gonna like loop it through like the like a, a harness or something that's just like on her back with like, <laughs> enough, 
Or like a like a toddler leash, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, she's definitely too distracted to to notice. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Is I'm I'm making a toddler leash. I like this picture of Brom because it implies that not only did he get like the the stuff, he also got like a six pack. Which, I I mean, I like Sorry. to imagine. It's like a ten pack. It. No, it's, Brom it's is an aesthetic not. Pack. He, I, I like to imagine there's no eight pack. Well, there's the eight pack, but it's on his massive gut. He still has the yeah. gut, but the gut itself now has an eight pack. Yeah. So it looks like ab implants. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's magic. Uh, magic has made it look that way. Yeah. He's just sitting there, uh, being happy. He got a free ticket. Enjoying it. Uh, okay, the, as that's going on, a guy walks by and he just goes, uh, Hat dogs, get your hat dogs right here. Oh, I took a dog. All right, then yeah, one too. gold. One gold, hot dog. Uh, okay. Right, uh, do you, you, have, uh, you have beverages? No. <laughs> Just hot <laughs> dog. <laughs> All right. I'll take hot dog. Yeah, Blood Gold will pick right. up a coin for a dog. He's <laughs> hot dog. You fancy pants up there, you want a hot dog? Pointing to the count. No. No, I'm right. good. Brought my own food in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want a hot dog. And Yars, he's like, hot dog. And he puts his hand up. All right, here's your hot dog. Hey, catch! He throws you a hot dog. Let's see if I roll it, if I catch it. Yeah. So you catch it, but the condiments fall off. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, ours flips him his flips him a silver anyways. <laughs> I said a gold, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that also seems somewhat suspicious. <laughs> yeah, that does seem suspicious. <laughs> he walks away, and when he does, you see one of the like gnomes come over and be like, sir, you can't sell my here. <laughs> He was not solicited. <laughs> it's an unsolicited hot dog vendor. He's an inter enterprising fellow. Yeah. You gotta love it. <laughs> but if that's it, then we cut back to the back. Um, Bingo, you and oh, Gertrude yeah. had made your way over to here. Yeah. Um, but you are going to get stopped as he goes, hey, wait a minute. Wait, what are you doing over here? Well, I get, we need to get all this shit for the yeah, big grand it. finale. Well, what do we need in there? We were going to, thought we were going to, like, you know, sell it. No. Nah. Boss said, boss said, uh, it's tainted. Tainted? Mm hmm. My goodness. We can't bring it with us. Roll a uh, persuade or a deception. Deception. Where's my D? There we go. Oh, damn. Yeah, we can't bring you it. Mean, like, we can't bring it into Wrath's presence. Yeah, there was some weird stuff in there. Wrath doesn't like any of that demon stuff. No. All right, well, it's just... chaos, you know, the chaos. Yeah. There are All a right, bunch well, of chaos yeah. on it. I know that's why we're trying to get the hell out of here. But yeah. it's like it was like a perfect place to hide, you know. Yeah, it was a pretty um, good spot. I don't think we'd made a bad choice, but yeah, it, I, I poke Gertrude with the pitchfork. Get your shit. Wow. All right. All right. Jeez. And she starts digging through the stuff. All right. Well, hey. Be careful. You don't yeah, want to yeah. like, touch nothing and become a goody two shoes. No, nah, don't worry about that. I got this six foot pole. Yeah. All right. And I gesture at my junk. <laughs> Actually, hold on. 
I'm gonna have to talk with uh, some people about that. You know, contractually, we're not supposed to make that kind of ex explicit sort of gestures towards one another. Oh yeah. Well, I think in the if you look at the uh, if you if you look at the uh, if you look at the fine print, you know, you're allowed to make gestures at yourself. That's that's cool. I'm not an artist. I'm a bear. Yeah. Can I make a perception to see if I can suss out what Gertrude's grabbing over there? Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. You see, Gertrude grabbed her jacket and stuff. Okay. Um, her helmet. And then you see her grab something. It's like a folded up piece of paper. She kind of even hides it from you and stuffs it into her pocket um, before she starts rummaging around. And then bingo, she pulls some out... some kind of artifact? She pulls out your... some of your stuff um, and looks at it kind of quizzically. I gesture at it with the pitchfork, like, take it, take it. She gestures to come over here. Hey, hey, stop that. And she leans in. Hey, you didn't happen to see like a little guy get taken, right? Well, I don't think he's that little. He was like a normal size for a halfling. I know, I know you can't talk to me, but like, can you at least like nod yes or no? Um, I'll, sh I'll shake my head no. She she looks at Bingo's stuff, and then very quickly kind of scoops it up in a sack and and puts it in her bag. Um, and then she grabs the rest of her stuff, and she pulls out what looks like a uh, a granite piece of stone, like a little slab, that has the symbol of that snake cult uh, that she's been hanging out with. Mm. Hey, li listen. Use this. We can just skedaddle out of here. I shake my head again. I, I gesture over to the to the doors over here. She she looks at that, and then I think, yeah, okay. Based on how she's she's perceived the situation, she goes, I, I know, I know. Okay, I'm gonna save all the people here. I'm not some fucking. The things get bad, and she takes your hand and puts it in there. Just, you know, use it, and it'll put you somewhere safe, I promise. All right, I, I will nod my head to that. All right. Uh, all right, hey, I, I got my stuff. We're, we're good. All right, we'll make our way back over this direction. All right. They, they've all taken off their hats and they're like looking <laughs> solemnly. <laughs> <laughs> they're crushed red. One of them's like reading from a, a gnome. <laughs> yeah. By blood and murder, he was a good demon. He was gone uh, to join his fellows. This fellow in the seven hells in the seven hells as his body does change and you see what the gnomes actually look like here I'll, I'll make it big so you can see they're these little, little fucker. gray fucker looking demons mm -hmm. yeah. is the technical name for it right yeah, They're the fucker, fucker demons. demons. Um, as you guys begin making your way towards the exit, um, it is at this point, bingo. Yeah. That uh, the horned devil here comes on over. Uh, hey, you. Yeah. Bear guy. Ahoy! Ahoy! Uh, 
You think it'd be funner if we like have the dogs tear her apart? No, 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 no. I've got a whole plan. I've got a whole thing planned. Oh, Trust me, it's it? gonna be it's gonna be epic. I don't want to ruin the surprise. All right. Well, remember, whatever happens, you know, you gotta at least fire out of the cannon or at least what's left of her. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna fire the cannon. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna keep stirring. Are right, you stir that pot? Yeah. That pot needs Ooh. to be stirred. Yeah. By the way, it's halfling tonight. <laughs> and he oh, yeah. over here and starts stirring. And Gertrude has this look of like, oh fuck. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I, I, Dan's I, been eaten. <laughs> I, I shake my head like, ah, and I, like, like with my bear paw to like try to like reassure. Oh. <laughs> she she has like misty eyes. She actually is kind of upset. I'll put my hand I'll put my hand on her shoulder consolingly. Thanks. Oh fuck. Okay, yeah, no, I gotta focus. <laughs> oh, you gotta remember that pretty quick. Okay, just focus. Okay. Maybe <laughs> it was a different halfling. That had my dad's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as we'll make our way out in here, I guess the doors open. I like how one minute you're like slapping your daughter, and the next minute you're consoling her <laughs> <laughs> about yeah. your death. Yeah, about yeah. your own <laughs> supposed death. As you wake through this large circus, um, things are getting riled up. Uh, Von Doom is is sort of running around the stage, sort of riling up the crowd. Um, he he snaps his fingers, and when it does, a poof of reddish smoke appears, and boom, this large lion appears, roaring uh, as Von Doom is kind of running around the thing as it's chasing him. <laughs> Uh, he seems to be keeping a good pace from it. Uh, she kind of leans over uh, Gertrude and is like, what's the plan? Uh, I, as I look around, is it still me? I, like, is anyone else going to do anything? You guys are just watching the show? As far as they know, like, they're just oh, watching the show. Actually, right? yeah. While they're watching the show, uh, I'll say anybody who knows who Gertrude is would see her. She's wearing her outfit, Bingo's daughter. So I guess the Count would. Yeah. I don't know who else here would. I don't think Na would. I don't think Na would. No, Na would. Because Na went to school with her. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so Na would recognize her. Here's Garrett. I'm gonna leave this one up to you. Droga's kids do run around with the bobbins. Would he be aware? Nah, He's like, probably okay. not. I'm gonna okay. hang out those fucking bobbins kids again. So you? I'll say the Count and Na recognize Gertrude being sort of led around with a by a stuffed bear with a pitchfork. Huh? I know her. What do you mean? She from Shellport. What do you mean? She's from Shellport. You mean how you and I are like from Shellport? Yeah, she from Shellport. I know her. Um, mm, mm, Tabitha? No, Don't that, remember. That thing is daughter. Yeah, Bingo's daughter. Tabitha. Is it Tabitha? I like to imagine we're all just looking at that, just like, was it Tabitha? Guess she <laughs> ran away during the circus. Sounds fun. Well, it looks like she's being poked with a pitchfork. 
Yeah, circus. Yeah, but I don't think that looks like any fun. Would you want to be poked with? This this thing does make sense as novel C. The other gnomes run up to the stage as this lion is chasing Von Doom with pitchforks, and they seem to be kind of wrangling the the lion to continue to stay on stage. So it might be part of the act. The cat killed oh. the clown. I love this idea that the rest of the party doesn't know this horrible thing is going on. <laughs> Except for Bingo. Who, by the way, I just want to bring up just as a recap, Bingo does think he's a god. So. Oh, yeah. oh I, he is well aware. I have a plan. Yeah. But you, you understand you have new, new divine powers you must be, you know, yeah. restricted They're... with. They're not gonna kill that cat, are they? Oh, they better not. I wouldn't like that. That would Why be a would real like downer at a circus. I said, I said I would not like that. Oh, sorry, it's the crowd. It's hard to hear. Well, they said yeah, you're fine. Some but people might die, so, so maybe big. the maybe the cat will kill a couple of them. I if would not like careful. it because it means I could make more lion dogs. Problem, get up. What? <laughs> They're lion dogs. Well, I'll start strangling this guy. Help! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just start strangling this guy. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian for a reason. <coughs> Wait, you mean that's hot totally dog? ethical? <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I never had a hot dog. Check. <laughs> Make a strike save or an athletics I'm, check. I'm not for the city. Brom, you try to strangle him, but he weasels his way out of your your grasp and, and runs away. He shouted me. You are shy. And he Hit runs me. away. Assault. Well, finish the job too if you ever come back. Poor cats made it made into hot dogs. And I ate it. There was other things in there more than Ken. As he runs off into the <laughs> crowd. <laughs> how do you how do you put out bounties? Well, I have you, heard of these bounties. I wish you, to make one. You save a lot of gold, and then you put up a a post in a bulletin board. I have nine gold. Is that enough? Yeah. Oh. Especially, especially if people are desperate enough. Everyone seems desperate. Like that little child over there being led by Pitchfork. She seems desperate. I really don't like that, and I kind of want to make a show. Speaking of which, Gertrude leans over to Bingo and goes, All right, what's the plan? Bingo holds up his paw, gesturing her to stop there. Do I see, like, the crew over here? Like, people I recognize? Um, yeah, you see them. Because, uh, I'll say that you so, notice so not giant, pointing... Locked it on and strangling somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's sort of drawn... I will, yeah, no check or anything. You see a bunch of people turn to look at this giant Lexodon choking out this man. <laughs> um, you also see, uh... Nah and the count like pointing, I guess, in your guys' direction. Alright. Bingo's gonna step forward and he's gonna stick his arm straight out to the side. And he's gonna start glowing blue and shed his bear skin. Uh <laughs> like <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> okay. As he, <laughs> as he like floats up into the air. As a as a glowing Sasquatch. <laughs> All right, oh I need you to roll two. God, I wish I had better music. I need like the Doctor Manhattan theme. <laughs> it doesn't go according. Oh God, what is it? It's seven. It works imperfectly. Um. So you have the effect having but a glitch also occurs. 
He <laughs> goes just starts screaming horribly because he feels the pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Where is and it? Bingo. Yeah, go ahead. So, bingo. You yeah. put your arms aside, you're like, hold, stand back. Yeah. As you start floating, you blast the uh, the bear costume off of you. Everything grinds to a halt. Everybody turns and <laughs> sees you glowing, lifting into the air. You're sort of Sasquatch body turning blue. <laughs> and you see you float uh, into and, the air. And I see. Letting off this radiant light. But a glitch does happen, which is uh, when that stuff blew off of you, it did smack Gertrude super far and knock <laughs> her unconscious. Ah, oh, shit. Because the blow of energy was just so, like, <laughs> yeah. impactful and wild. <laughs> ah, I feel kind of like I feel kind of like upset about that because I wanted to show off in front of my daughter that I was cool, but what's done is done. So I'm going. I'm gonna. I start my my. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I I project my voice in booming, like common, because I am gonna force myself to speak common, and I'm gonna say, behold. The High Lord Bobbins, Sasquatch of Trickery. I am Ascendant, and I am here to warn <laughs> you. And I point uh, uh, at the gr the group that these right. gnomes are trying to kill you. <laughs> hey, was that Bingo in a bear suit? In a bear suit? The fates have spoken! Wait, is the bear telling us that the gnomes are trying to kill us? I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> just, they're not they're trying to kill us. Watch. It's all just yeah, part of the show. There is one thing, you don't speak common, so I'm gonna need that roll again to see if you do speak common. <laughs> <laughs> don't I fail or I should <laughs> 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 oh god okay you rolled lower than seven so that means there is just a hiccup oh, so yeah, oh, yeah. instead what happens is as you float up you just <laughs> and lift your hand up in the air after blasting this poor frog woman away <laughs> Rob, <laughs> you see this guy float up in the air, and he points at you guys, menacingly. <laughs> Something does happen, but that Bingo now? <laughs> Bingo, I'm gonna need a save. Oh gosh, what is it? It's a dex, a con save? It is a con save. Um, do I get to roll as a Sasquatch, or do I still have... It's you, it's still yours, it's tough. Oh, 15. It. 15. I... No. <laughs> As you are fucking blinded. Do I take oh, damage? Or am I just... Yes. You will take radiant damage. Oh, dang it. That will teach me to <laughs> not be so quick in that draw. Now, he's kind <laughs> of divine. Maybe he's a little bit resistant to radiant damage. But you well... did say. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. No, here's here's what I'll do. Roll two d six, Brom. Yeah, I was gonna. Oh, Brom. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> you do take the damage, Bingo. Wait. Uh, uh, because I, I I will use reaction to add it because I would think he is hostile. So right. it is uh, the five action. Thirty, on top. 30 damage. Bingo! Bingo's fucked. Bingo's not a lot of help. Because <laughs> you got fucking blinded, blasted, and you fall down. But I'm luckily, afraid. with this radiant damage, it does destroy the Sasquatch Illusion collar you have on. 
So oh. it does shed the illusion of him being a Sasquatch. So you, Brom, see this fucking Sasquatch float in the air, point at you guys menacingly, you blast it with what equates to, like, the sun. And then you see Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. You see Bingo's body fall out of it and slammed on the ground. And it's just like, fuck! Yeah, I, I basically look like Yamcha right now. Yeah. I, I imagine you're also naked because they took your stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm also naked. Yes, you when are this... also naked. Again. I'm mean, so no. a bit naked. <laughs> Oh, are pantsless. Yeah. I think ah. I, I'm just gonna slowly cover Nas' eyes. <laughs> Rob, are you are you doing all right, man? Well, it was you, a thing. You did that like, like two thing. violent outbursts in a public setting, seemingly <laughs> unprovoked. Rob starts like breaking down. He's like, "Oh, there was the cat dog so I ate, and then that thing started like glowing and pointing at us." No, you're right. And then now the, it's the, the now it's bingo. A lot of a lot of stress for a vegan. And now it's bingo. bingo. It's bingo there on the ground. You are oh, you are naked, so it is. laying on the ground. <laughs> you're a god that's just been blinded because somebody shot the power of the sun at you. Oh, I'm gonna lie there. I'm just gonna lie there for a second. <laughs> All right. Wow. Where did Gert Where did Gertrude get knocked to? She got smacked into this large inflatable ball that has deflated because she got blasted into it. Okay. Wait, why are we asking? Why is Bingo naked now? Why was he as... You see, these guys start to head towards Bingo. Oh, fuck <laughs> this. As Brom starts moving or like, bolts on running. <laughs> uh, Nas starts to get up and move forward and then is yanked back by the leash. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, I'm sorry. I'm coming. All right. Get let's up. roll for initiative. Oh. Oh, yeah. I was just going to see if uh, if Logo could see if if it's really Bingo or just an illusion like part of the show. <laughs> No, it's Bingo. Okay. There's no ifs, ifs, or buts. Even if it was an illusion, he just got blasted by Brom for realsy. <laughs> so, like, even if his I'm floating kinda... thing was part of it, you did just see Brom actually hit him with a big <laughs> Yeah. Man, these are so All right. Von Doom. All right, I guess All it's right. me, huh? Bingo, top of the oh, order. Probably level, level six. All right, I am blind. I'm very injured. I am going to fumble in my pocket. Oh, I don't have pockets. I must have something. <laughs> oh, where did I? Where did I put my? Where did I put my? Um, where did I put my? You, you know what I'm talking about. Um, my lamp. Not one. You have no, no. You don't have a lamp. You have a pitchfork in one hand. You have a um. Hey, Garrett. A slab. Yes. I don't. Sorry to interrupt you. That dwarf thing was in line of the sunbeam and would need to take the con save. Oh, was, no, because he was flying. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's alright. Um, uh, I got a lamp, and you have I a... got this lamp from over here, right? From where? From the piranha, from the piranha plant, it's my, it's my little house. Yes, you do have the lamp, so laying next to you, it was in your bear costume, but is now just sort of strewn about, because you did say you blasted your clothes off like cat or from <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> Yeah. So there is a pitchfork, a stone slab with a snake rune on it, and your lamp. All right. I'm going to grab the um, snake rune okay. and crawl into the lamp. All right. 
you crawl. You don't feel like you're shrinking or anything. You just crawl into the lamp. And when you do, bingo, you fall, boom, landing on a, a wooden chair, which is not the most comfy thing in the world. Um, you don't feel like you shrunk or anything. Um, but you all who can actually see Bingo do see him crawl into a magic lamp. And I'm gonna put this symbol on you because Bingo, right now you are in the lamp. Yes. Ah, fuck. That hurt. I'm sorry. I was trying to help those guys. <laughs> this is what you get, you know? I try to do good. God's in this no world. respect. No respect for the gods. Heathens, all of them. And then you remember you did just try to kill a demigod, or you did. And so, like, that may be... Maybe this is, like, karma. Yeah. Even even gods gotta deal with karma, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna end my turn in the, in the, in the lamp for now. All right. You end your turn. Um... This lion leaps towards uh, Von Doom, uh, but he is going to use his action to basically boof it away back into its cage. Um, and he's going to yell at his little men, get that lamb! <laughs> they're going to run over, and they're not going to quite know what to do. Um... This one's gonna run over too, and they just kind of put the lid on the lamp and lift it up. Um, Bingo, you feel movement. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, as they hold up the lamp and they just give a thumbs up. Droga. All right. Uh, Droga's gonna do what Droga does best. She's gonna run head first into combat. And, um, does Na care if I take Na with me? Uh, no, but I think it will have your movement. Yes, because you're dragging her. You know what? I'm gonna do the exact opposite of drag Na with me, and that's leave Na there. As I'm gonna, like, just take the leash thing, and I'm just gonna, like, look at Yars and be like, Your turn! And <laughs> I'm gonna, like, just run back. Uh, has have these no like do these gnome things look obvious like they're like that something is amiss? They look just as fucking confused at what happened. I, okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run past and I'm gonna go check on the girl. That's what I'm gonna do. Um. I'm gonna spend my action to dash. That's great, because once you run past, you hear, ah! and uh, this gnome here actually jumped onto your back. <laughs> um, and he goes, ah, no interrupting! Uh, and he's gonna slice at you <laughs> while on your back. Okay. With, with his claws. And he has advantage because he is basically riding you. Okay. No. And uh, yes. All right. He's gonna deal eight damage. Uh, As he's like clawing at your face and like grabbed onto you. Ah! As a bonus action, I do. I want to do that already. Why the fuck not? As a bonus section, I'm gonna cast a high level spell, baby. Alright. As I'm taking out wounds. <laughs> you pull out wound. Shing! As it starts glowing like this, like, it's like it starts glowing and radiating this bright light. Uh, that ends my turn. Alright. Uh, count. All right. Uh, I guess I now see that uh, these guys are evil. Hmm. 
Did the gnome change, or does it just like? <laughs> I, it it does not. It just looks like this gnome is like basically clawing with its bare hands. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing that I should probably not do, but it's really funny. Uh, I'm gonna animate object. <laughs> All right, what are you animating? The Tell cannon. Me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The cannon <laughs> shudders, and Von Doom looks at it like, "What the fuck?" As it <laughs> uh, and tilts around. Um. All right, you have access to a fucking huge ass cannon. All right. Crap, uh, I don't have a huge object on here, do I? Ooh. That's all right. We, we get the idea. It's, it's not going to be. All right, mind. what do you want it to do? All right, it's going to immediately turn around and shoot the clown. <laughs> turns around. What the fuck? Boom! Um, and I'm gonna need to make a roll real quick. Uh, here, you roll a, a d20. All right. I get this stuff. Ooh, that sucks. Five. It... It spins around, but unfortunately it fires a little too early um, and just blasts a fucking hole into this back room. Uh, so what, what actually becomes very visible is a couple of things. Um, I'm just going to put... Draw. This is open now, so there is just an opening here in this area. Uh, but not only that, you see it opens up into the void here as it just blasted a hole through the actual, like, space of this tent. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> um, so the Count does know that he is no longer in a normal plane. No? He sees a void outside. A hungry one. Yep. All right, well, uh, the Count realizing he's going to be stuck here is going to be I'm going to get out of the line of sight, everybody. All right. That'd be fair. Uh, nah. Nah really doesn't have any idea what's going on, but people are running off, so she's going to join the circus. <laughs> so she will right. gleefully run over here. All right, quick, quick thing. I need you to make an athletics check. Ah, uh, makes an athletics check. Twenty-six. As Na begins running, Yars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Droga throws Yars the the leash, basically. Yeah. <laughs> when Na starts bolting. Yars, she's so fucking strong, and it happens so quickly, it actually does drag you over here. <laughs> I imagine you gnaws on all fours. Yeah. Maybe barking. Yeah. <laughs> circus, circus. I'm going to say... Uh, oh, no, go I was going to say, stick him, nah, and I let go of the leash. Right, you, you let go of the leash as Nah boop, 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 scurries up a, up this uh, <laughs> up this ladder. Uh, how much movement does that take to go up the ladder? Um, fifteen. Okay, so I think I can just get it to the top with all of her movement. Ah, fuck. Hi. She's gonna push this guy. You're not supposed to be up here. Bye! You got a 16. <laughs> You're not supposed to... Wow! <laughs> As he falls, boom! Hits the end. It just cracks his head and dies. Law looks down. Oh. Oh, no. 
But then he turns into a demon. Or oh. a devil, I mean. Oh, no! Oh. And then she looks around and sees, sees the gaping void. <laughs> this isn't a circus. And that'll be her turn. <laughs> All right, Gloco. What kind of circus is this? <laughs> this is the worst circus I've ever seen. All right, Bloco runs over to the fallen halfling, uh, assumes the fangs of the fire snake pose, and starts punching. Uh, I guess uh, one to the left one and one to the so, right so one. I will say you don't see the halfling. He is in the lamp, um, but this this guy here is holding the lamp. Oh, then I'll punch him twice. All right. That's going to hit. Uh, that one is going to miss. The first one will be enough as he... Ah! Um, and drops the lamp, so the lamp is like flying through the air as Bingo, you were being thrown around. They shake me all around and I fall yeah. out of my chair. Ah! Ah! Uh, and as a bonus action, I'll, I'll do another uh, unarmed strike at the guy on the left. That will do it. As you <laughs> ah shit, boss! I think we're in trouble. Yes, you are. Well, assuming they're in co speaking in common. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you grab the lamp because it's midair at the moment? Midair? I'll I'll make a snatch for it. I imagine with all the punches, all right, I might have to make a roll, right? Uh, yes, a deck save. Deck save. A 12, unfortunately does not. As you go to, shit, you hit it, and the lamp actually goes flying um, up into the air and heading uh, in this direction, landing on this ledge, <laughs> like right on the corner of it. Oh, fuck. All right, that's Blogo's turn. All right, Yars. Yars yells, I guess we're fighting demon gnomes now. Uh, this clown up here actually goes, we're not fucking demons, we're devils. Uh, and when he does, he starts to change. What's um, the difference? <laughs> Oh, he's pissed. He didn't like that. <laughs> uh, where is it? And... Is that wrong? Hold on. The token didn't, like, actually come out. There it is. Uh, as he turns into this. Ooh. Seems chill. And I'll show you what a devil of carnage can do. Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to see that. And Yars, <laughs> Yars doesn't want to see that. He's going to uh, draw on his fighting spirit, his Bushido fighting spirit, to gain advantage. Uh, and he is going to throw his axe at this guy. All right. Uh, with advantage, that will hit. All right. So... That is... 17? Uh, 17? As it clunk, hits him. Oh, fuck! You hit my fucking face! There's two more where that came from. <laughs> Both of them are gonna hit. 
as he okay. he tries to avoid them, but he is just getting hammered with these heads. Let's see, that's that, and then this is he just go clunk. Ow! Yars says, says, "Aren't you guys supposed to give us a deal or something?" Uh, if you'd like to take a deal, I'd be more than willing to help with that. Hmm. Well, Yars can't think of anything right now. He's, I'll come back to you if. Uh, <laughs> let me if, think uh, about if it. I, let me think about it. <laughs> oh fuck my face! Um, as it's Brom, you continue to concentrate on Sunbeam. You might be muted. Yeah, I was. Uh, no, I'm going to cast Moonbeam at level 5 on the demon. <laughs> Alright. So he will, he needs to make a uh, con save. Well, we can always make a deal if it... Ah! <laughs> it hurts by the light as it fails. <laughs> uh, that's uh, 5d10 radiant. Uh, oh but then as a bonus action, he'll take a crystal out and then gently kiss it as he gains the archer form. And then as a and then he's gonna shoot him. Mark this guy for twenty seven uh this is gonna be uh fucking nineteen radiant damage. <laughs> well we can certainly make a deal. I'm the devil of well renowned and I certainly can go <laughs> just ashes left. Ah! <laughs> As he dies. <laughs> now, I guess when he dies, you all start to see the whole area starts to rumble um, as if the plane is starting to fall apart. Oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> you, just, you just fucking keep blasting people! <laughs> 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 Be gone, David! That's, that's, that's it for Bro! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no Thank wonder you. he wasn't taken seriously! <laughs> You are no longer blinded, Bingo, as you wake ah. up inside of your, your comfy little thing. You hear rumbling, and you see above you, it's starting to, like, fall apart, this area. My my lamp? No, like the, uh, the circus. Oh. Uh, well, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to say to myself, why am I hiding in here? I am a god. I'm a golden god. And I have full health. All right, roll that <laughs> 2d6, and we'll see what happens. Damn. This is probably big magic. Nine. Works in <laughs> All right. OK, I, I got, got an idea. You, you go. <laughs> I have full health, and you begin to glow, floating out of your lamp. You feel it, the power rushing through you. You all see it. Bingo, charging up with this energy, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Boom! As the thing snaps below you, Bingo, as you are this huge sized um, half wing. I'm a full wing. Yeah. Bow before me. Bow before me and know the full size of a halfling. People start screaming and running away. Um, you are at full health, but you are huge sized. Yes. I'm huge. And naked. Yeah, and naked. Ooh. You see a parent cover their child's eyes. <laughs> and then they run off. The, sh the shadow of my of my dangling loins like covers yeah. the audience. <laughs> uh, 
Yars, I guess you and Brom see it. Yars, Yars is definitely looking at the uh, at the naked, the naked, uh, the naked man. Actually, you know what? No, you're divine. So actually, what happens is there's this okay. weird cloud that is like around his his junk, so none of you see it. It's like it's obscure, obscured just a little bit by this like hazy mist. <laughs> <laughs> Yars no, goes. I'm so sorry. Is that is that Yasni? I am related to Yasni in the sense that I am also divine. Bingo, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Repent and you shall be cleansed. As, As Brav looks at the demon like, oh no. This realm is falling apart around you guys. We should probably go. I have this, and I pull out the snake charm. I don't know what that is. It's like a snake thing. Uh, grab my daughter, and I pull her through. Can we not just leave through the door? Oh, you yeah, we could probably just... through the storm. Maybe we should just leave through the door. Yeah. All right. Do you all run out? Yeah, I'll grab Gertrude first if nobody else does. I, I'll, I, I intended to. Okay. Yes, good job, Zoga. <laughs> I'll probably try to running out. punch out oh, another you. gnome on the way out. I just want to, like, what? take the one off my face and, like, kick it. As you start running, the gnome's clawing at you. Bingo, you get close to the door. And you have to make a choice. If you stay here in this realm of chaos, you could keep this full power forever, but you would be bound to this place. Oh man. Or you could leave. You may retain some of that power, but you definitely will be weakened. You will not be as, as powerful outside of this plane. Oh man. This is a tough decision. It's all crumbling around you, bingo. What do you do? I look as everyone else has run out the door already. I imagine so. I'm going to look out. I'm going to look back and I'm going to hold my hand up and it's like flaming power energy. And then I'm going to look out. And I'm going to see Droga carrying my daughter. And I'm going to say no. He needs me. And I'm going to step out of the cow of the chaos realm to become a family man. <laughs> and leaving some of your power behind. As you, whew, all of you diving outside of this uh, place, it woo, 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 before the tent implodes on itself. <laughs> leaving just an empty crater. It's and really Bingo, fun. You are now a, a man. But when you check your hand and, and flick your fingers, you feel just the tiniest bit of power and that lamp still in your hands. Just crumbs now, fleeting memories of a cookie that once was and is no more. That's what Bingo says as we end tonight's session. Are these uh, notes still here? Yeah, they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they don't know what's going on. That's the dog. <laughs> Is there something about <laughs> like, orphans with this place? No, this was just a circus was considered okay. suspicious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This guy's over here throwing his like three hundred knife. Yeah. Is that is that Sailor Man a survivor of the Crystal Tower incident? He is. He this is his vacation. Like they gave him like leave. <laughs> he was the one guy that survived on that floor. He was. <laughs> is Gertrude That's actually not a joke? <laughs> it was what I planned. 
is Gertrude like unconscious right now? Yes, Gertrude is unconscious. Uh, um, but she does have a bag of bingo stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more incredible tales from the Adventurer's Landing.